Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at how we plot or draw quadratic graphs. Okay, so the first thing to have a look at is the actual equation I'm going to plot here. And because it's an x squared, that's sort of a clue that it's a quadratic. Okay, so it's a little bit trickier than plotting a straight line because I can't use the flow chart. I'm going to have to substitute it in. And when you're dealing with negatives and squares, it does get tricky. Okay, so make sure you do what I'm about to show you. The first thing I would do is I'd put a bracket round each of the x's like so, because I'm going to substitute these values for x directly into these brackets. And I'll show you why that's a good idea in a second when we have a go at the first one here, which is x equals minus 2. Okay, so there's my x value. I want to work out what y is. So I'm going to put that into these brackets here. So I'm going to substitute x so minus 2 in for x. Inside the bracket is now minus 2, and I'm squaring it, plus, and then inside that bracket, again, minus 2 in that bracket. So why do we do that? Well, if you look at the calculator, because this is probably going to be on a calculator paper, if not, if you are going to, sorry, if you are going to use a calculator, make sure you don't do this mistake. So if you just do minus 2 squared, what the calculator does is it does 2 squared, which is 4, and then gives you minus, so the answer would be minus 4. But as we know, if you do a negative times a negative, you should have a positive. So that's why we put it in brackets. So if you put a bracket minus 2, and then square once you've closed the brackets, and press equals, you do get the positive value 4. So that's one of the reasons why we do this. Okay, so let me just put everything in. So in brackets, minus 2 squared, then I want to add in brackets, minus 2. So what do I get? I get the answer of 2. So I can fill that in there, I'll put equals 2 if you wish, but 2 needs to go into the table. Next one is minus 1. So x equals minus 1. So again, inside the brackets, I'm just going to put minus 1, minus 1, don't forget that one is squared. And again, I mean, you can do it in your head if you'd like to, or if you want to practice using the calculator, it's probably a good idea. But again, minus 1 squared, so minus 1 times minus 1, Will obviously give me one but I'll use the calculator just to illustrate that as well put it in and we get the answer of zero yeah zero okie dokie next one then so x is one and again let's stick it all in here oh, plus and if x is 1, 1, there we go. So 1 squared is obviously going to give me 1, plus 1 gives me 2. And x equals 2 for the final one, so in brackets. Well, 2 squared is 4, plus another 2 gives me 6. Okay, so when it's positive, it's quite nice. You probably just do it in your head. To be fair, these ones here, as long as you remember that a minus times a minus is a positive, you should be okay. But remember, if you're going to put it in calculator, stick it in brackets, otherwise your calculator is going to get it wrong for you. Okay, then all we're going to do is we're going to plot this. So when x is minus 3, y is 6. So along the corridor to minus 3, up to 6. Minus 2 and then 2, minus 1 and 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 6, and 3, 12. So you might have noticed there that they're the same, they're the same, they're the same, because you'll always have, with an x squared, a curve. Okay, you'll always have a curve. So, once you've plotted these points, which of course gets you marks, we obviously then need to draw it. Now, what I would do, and hopefully this will work on the camera, is I'd turn it so you naturally curve your wrist like that. Now, I'm just going to do this bit first. Okay, so obviously you might be able to do it a little bit better than me. And then turn this one round. And again, try and naturally curve. Make sure you go through the points, because otherwise you'll lose marks and do it in pencil as well just in case you do make a mistake then obviously you can rub it out so i've deliberately left this bit because what some people do is they go ah and they join these two bits up well no because it's meant to be a curve so you're going to have a curve this bit of curve and then a flat bit 
you do need to carry on the curve like so. And you can tell that these two won't be the um, minimum point, if you like, of this, because you've got those two, those two, those two. So the actual minimum point is going to be in between these. So it's going to be at minus 0 0.5 is going to be the uh, minimum point of this particular graph here, because it's in between those two points. OK, so a couple of things there to watch out for. Now let's have a go at this one. So again, I've got my equation here. This time I've got uh, x squared minus 2x plus 4. Sorry, minus 4. What am I talking about? And I've got my table of values here with some of them filled in, and I need to fill in the missing ones. So exactly the same thing. I'm going to put the brackets around my x's so I know what I'm going to substitute in. And let's get going in. So the first one here is x equals minus 2. Okay, so I'm just going to substitute minus 2 into where I've got a bracket. So that'd be minus 2 squared minus 2. Remember, 2x two means 2 times x. So 2 times, and again, minus 2. And then I'm going to take away 4. So what does that get us? Let's have a look. It's in bracket, minus 2, close bracket, squared. Then I'm going to take away 2 times, and in bracket, minus 2 and then minus 4. Press your equals, what do we get? We get 4, okay? Which I'm then going to put in there. So remember, minus 2 squared is 4. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. So I'm doing 4 uh, minus minus 4. And again, take away a minus, you get a positive. So it's 4 plus 4, take away 4, gives you 4. So if you don't have a calculator, you can do it. It does get very confusing. But as long as you remember to do your negatives properly, you should be OK. Or if you've got a calculator, use brackets and you're in business. Let's do x equals 0 then. So exactly the same thing in brackets. So 0 squared minus 2 times in brackets. 0 and then take away 4. So again, use calculator if you want, but 0 squared is 0. Take away 2 times 0, or 2 times 0 is 0. So 0 take away 0 is nothing. Minus 4 is obviously going to be minus 4. Or again, use your calculator. And last one here, when x is 3, so exactly the same thing. Where you've got the brackets, you can just substitute in your value of 3. Now you can work it out or use calculator, it's entirely up to you. Obviously, if you've got a calculator, it might make sense just to do it. So in brackets, 3 squared, take away 2 times in brackets, 3, and then take away 4, we're going to have minus 1. Because we've got 3 squared, which is 9, 2 times 3 is 6, and 9, take away 6, gives you 3, take away 4, there's your minus 1. OK, and once you've done that, you can plot your points. So minus 2, 4, minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 4, 1, minus 5, uh, 2, minus 4, 3, minus 1, and then 4, 4. And again, you can see got four fours, minus one, minus one, minus four, minus four. In between the middle, I have my one uh, minus five. So that is definitely going to be the lowest point. And again, if you turn your paper, because I know that is the lowest point. OK, and again, turn to try and make your hand flow in the direction that you want it to. Some people find this easier than others. I've always struggled, but you can see just by doing that, you tend to get a nice curve like so. And again, use pencil in the exam. Just in case you make a mistake, you can rub it out. OK, let's have a look at another one. So here is another one. This time I've got neg uh, a minus 3 here just to see what happens. So let's give it a go. And I've got some coordinates here. So I'm going to finish off when x is minus 1. Oh, sorry, I forgot my brackets, didn't I? There we go, stick in the brackets. Let's do it. So I'm going to have minus 1 squared, take away 3. Don't forget 3x means 3 times. And then in brackets, again, minus 1. And then finally the minus 1. So again, stick it in your calculator or do it by hand. I was doing calculator again just to show you. So I've got my minus 1 in brackets and then the squared. 
minus 3 times, and again in brackets, minus 1, and at the end, minus 1. And if you put all that in, you should have 3. So automatically, I'm seeing I've got a 3 and a 3 here, so I'm going to assume that's going to be minus 1. So let's do that now, just to double check. So I'll put 3 into my brackets. So again, you can use calculator or not, but to be fair, do both. Just double check your answer. Always check it. So there we go. Times 3 in brackets, minus 1. What do we get? Uh, yep, yeah, minus 1, which is what we thought, because it goes 3, minus 1. And I'm going to assume that's going to be minus 3 as well. But again, let's just have a look. So let's do when x equals 1 to finish off the table. So let's have a look. So in brackets, 1 squared minus 3 times in brackets 1, and then take away 1. Again, you can use calculator or do it by hand. And yep, as we suspected, it is going to be minus 3 because it's going to be a curve. So 3, 3, minus 1, minus 1, minus 3, minus 3. Okay, so let's plot this now. So minus 2, long minus 2, up to 9. And then minus 1 to 3. 0 minus 1. 1 minus 3. 2 minus 3. 3 minus 1. And then 4, 3. So as you can see, as we suspected, this is going to be our curve. Now again, just like in the first example, I'm not going to draw a nice flat line here. I need to spot that in between these, in the middle, so somewhere here is going to be my lowest point. Okay, so I'm going to turn my page round, and because I know I'm going to go roughly halfway, and again join them up, and I'm going to turn it round, and again just use the flow of my wrist. There we go. Okay, so it looks something like that. Okay, remember, we don't draw a flat line we need to make sure that we do go slightly under. So what is the x-coordinate of the turning point? Well, the turning point is just the lowest point where it turns and starts going back up. So as we've already looked at, I need to go bang in the middle of these two. So if that's one, that's two, there would be 1.5. And estimate the y-coordinate. Basically, you can say, uh, as long as it's not minus three and not minus four, usually it's anywhere in between, but I would probably go somewhere in between minus, 3.1 to, to minus 3.4 personally. Somewhere in that um, region will be fine. Don't put both of them, pick one, but I'm just saying that because you could have anything in that range, okay? Uh, if you actually wanted the y coordinate and you knew it was uh, x was minus 1.5, you could put minus 1.5 into here and actually work it out correctly. Because it says estimate, I can just have a guess, okay? So that's another couple of questions that could be asked. The last thing that I want to show you before um, I stop the video is what could happen if it was a minus x squared. Well, it's still going to be a curve, but let's plot the points and then I'll show you what happened. So again, I'm just going to put the brackets around my x's. x is minus 2. So let's put minus 2 into here. So minus, then bracket, minus 2 squared plus 2 times, in bracket, minus 2, then plus 4. Let's see what comes out. So minus, and in bracket, minus 2 squared, plus 2 times, and again, minus 2, then, oop, not plus 1, plus 4. Okay, put that all in, and we get minus 4. Oop, that's fine, that's the wrong one. Yeah, minus 4. Okay, so that's minus 4. So there we go, look, there's my pattern. Minus 4, minus 4. I'm going to guess that that's going to be a 1. Let's have a look. Minus, and then x is 3 this time, so 3 squared plus 2 times, in brackets, 3 plus 4. Let's have a look. And then plus 2 times 3 plus four, yep, as we thought, one. Okay, because it's going in, and then that's a four, so I'm gonna assume that's a four, but always double check it. So when x is zero, 
Let's substitute that in and see what happens. Well, 0 squared is 0. Factors minus is, is nothing. It's going to be 0 plus 2 times 0, which is obviously 0. So 0 plus 0 plus 4 is going to give me 4. I will just put it in the calculator, though, just so you, you can see how you do it if you're using a calculator. Plus 2 times in bracket 0. There we go, 4. OK, so don't forget, you can check it. Minus 4, 1, 4, 5. OK, so let's plot this. So minus 2, minus 4. Uh, minus 1, 1. 0, 4. 1, 5. 2, 4. And then 4, minus 4. Oh, I missed off 3, sorry. 3 is 1. OK, so as you're going up in pairs, we get to this one here, so in the middle is there, so I definitely know that that is the turning point. And luckily, this is already facing the right way for me. And as you might have already have guessed, when it's a minus x squared, all that happens is it reflects it. Reflects in the x-axis, just flips. Okay, so all the other ones were like that. If it's a minus x squared, it looks like that. So it's just something to be, bear in mind. I haven't seen any of these come up in the exam. Um, but it's just something to bear in mind if it does. Okay, guys? So that's how you plot quadratic graphs. Hopefully that helps. Cheers.